Hey guys, today I'm finally replacing my Raptor 2.1's remote control, the Nano X. This is a very basic remote that has always given me problems. The biggest issue, however, is when I plugged in the USB connector to charge the remote, it snapped off the circuit board. I definitely didn't force it, and it happened a second time on a new Nano X remote while I was being super, super careful that time. Out of curiosity, have any of you guys experienced the same issue? Anyway, eventually I opened up the case and soldered a USB wire directly to the circuit board, and that's how I would charge it. This worked fine for a while, but not what I wanted after spending so much money on this board. So I finally decided it was time to replace the remote. I chose to try out the Flipsky V1 remote since it got good reviews from the DIY community and was a bit cheaper than say the Flipsky V2 remote or the Puck from Hoyt Street, which is actually a pretty cool remote. The first thing you'll see when opening the box is your manual and instructions. The remote control, which has a very nice feel, your USB wire to charge the remote, extra cables for the receiver, and the receiver itself. So let's open up the Raptor, which has eight screws holding the case in place. This is the Nano X receiver that we want to replace and here I'm just running my razor between the case and the hot glue, being careful not to damage the board or Nano X receiver, which I may need at some point. These are the instructions that come with the Flip Sky remote, and admittingly aren't super clear at first glance. But in reality, this process is super easy. All you do is remove your Nano X receiver from the cables already connected to your Fox box. You're going to use this same cable, so no need to mess with the Fox box at all. On this cable, you'll see a white, red, and black wire. White is your signal wire, red is your five volt wire, and black is your negative wire. If you look back at the diagram, it's these three pins. And it's also marked on the receiver, so you just plug it in. Also, if you would like the battery indicator on your remote to reflect how much battery is left on your Raptor, you can solder the blue wire that came with your FlipSky remote to the positive wire of your Unity and then connect the blue wire to the V terminal on your FlipSky receiver. I didn't do that because it wasn't worth it for me, but if you feel differently, that is always an option. Now that the receiver is connected, go back to the instructions for pairing your remote. They are pretty straightforward. Here I'm running a few tests to make sure it's working properly before closing the case. Now that I feel confident the remote is working, I'm hot gluing the new receiver in place so it doesn't rattle around while riding. And now, all you have to do is close up the case, being careful not to strip the screws. And that's it. As you can see, this was super easy to do, and I wish I had done it sooner. I hope you found this video useful, and please let me know what your Raptor 2 experience has been like in the wake of inertia going belly up. I do feel that this board is well made, except for the remote control and the wheels. The wheels truly may be their biggest downfall. In fact, if anyone knows of a way to add pneumatic wheels to the Raptor 2.1, please let me know. That would really make this board a billion times better.